Now let's discuss about the kinetic energy, potential energy and total energy of a body in SHM. We know that the displacement of a body in SHM is A cos omega t plus phi zero where A is the amplitude, omega the angular frequency and phi zero the initial phase and t represents the time. This, this equation we already have derived in the session the uh, derivation of SHM or the differential equation of SHM. If you have any doubt regarding this topic, you can always go and check the video. I will put the link in the description. Now the velocity V will be the derivative of displacement with respect to time. So this is equal to d by dt of x is actually a cos omega t plus phi zero. Now, since this A is constant, you can take that out A into derivative of cos is minus sine omega t plus phi zero. Now, the derivative of omega t is omega. So, velocity is equal to minus A omega sine omega t plus phi zero. Call that as equation number one. Now we have kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is equal to half mass m into v square. So this is equal to 1 by 2 mass into velocity is minus a omega sine omega t plus phi zero, the square. So this is equal to kinetic energy is equal to half m into a square omega square squaring all the terms you will get a square omega square sine square omega t plus phi zero this is equal to half m First write this omega square, omega square, a square. I'm just rearranging the order. Then you just put sine square, omega t plus phi zero. This equation can also be written like this. Now half m omega square a square. Now this sine square omega sine square omega t plus phi zero can be written as you can use that identity sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one. So this is equal to 1 minus cos square omega t plus phi zero. Now if you take the only this a square to inside of the bracket, you will get omega square into a square minus a square cos square omega t plus phi zero. Now this is equal to half m omega square a square minus this can be written as a cos omega t plus phi zero whole square clear but you know when you look at the equation in here the first equation that is the equation of the displacement this a cos omega a cos omega t plus phi zero is actually x so the kinetic energy kinetic energy is equal to half m omega square into a square minus this one is actually x so a square minus x square so this is the expression of kinetic energy clear now you have to find the expression for the potential energy let's erase this we have in sim in SHM in SHM we have force is equal to minus kx. Force is actually proportional to displacement. Force is, but force and displacement are of, in opposite direction, so you have to put this minus. So F is equal to minus kx. Clear. I'm just only writing this F equal to minus kx up here. So, F equal to minus kx. 
Suppose if you consider a spring, let's consider a spring and if you are displacing the mass attached to one end of the spring, let k be the spring constant to a, to a small distance dx, let's say this small distance, this mass is displaced through a small distance from left to right, the restoring force always act in that direction opposite to displacement. So the work done here dw, work done is always dot product of force and displacement. But since the force is towards the left and displacement towards the right, here the angle theta will be 180. They are in opposite direction. So this will be f dx cos 180. This is equal to, but you know f is equal to minus kx then dx, but cos 180 equal to minus 1. So this minus and minus will get cancelled. So the work is equal to kx dx. So the small work is equal to kx dx. Now in order to get the total work, this work total work, you have to integrate this kx dx from 0 to x, which means we are extending this through a distance x. Let's assume that the spring is at a spring is extended through a length x. So you have to integrate it from 0 to x. So this work is told as potential energy. So PE is the work done. Clear. Therefore, potential energy in, in work energy principle, the work done is told as the potential energy. Clear. So this is equal to integral k times integral 0 to x x dx but you know integral of x is equal to x square by 2 now you have to put the lower and upper level 0 to x so potential energy pe is equal to k now first put the upper limit that is x square by 2 minus 0 so this equal to half kx square so the potential energy of a spring or the potential energy spring is just an example of SHM. So the potential energy of a body in SHM will be PE is equal to half Kx square. Clear. So the kinetic energy is equal to half and omega square a square minus x square. Potential energy is equal to half Kx square. Also remember, we have omega square, omega or just omega is equal to root of k by n. We know this one because we already took this in the case of derivation in the, we used this in the differential equation of SHM. You can always go and check the video. Clear? So omega, this is equal, so implies omega square is equal to k by m or omega square or let's say m omega square is equal to k. So this k can be replaced. So potential energy can also be written as half instead of k you can write m omega square m omega square x square. So this is the potential energy. Now for the total energy, total energy, total mechanical energy is always the sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy. So this will be half m omega square a square minus x square plus half m omega square x square. In both these terms, half m omega square is constant. Now, this one a square minus x square plus x square. You can cancel this x square and x square. So, the total energy will be total energy is equal to half 
m omega square a square clear from the equation it is clear that this 1 by 2 is a constant mass of the body doesn't change also the angular frequency the maximum displacement is the amplitude which means amplitude also doesn't change which means the total energy equal to a constant clear total energy is a constant now if you take the different cases let's take so let's remember all these equations now suppose just take the oscillation of a spring i'm just writing total energy here t is equal to half m omega square a square so just take just consider the oscillation of a spring suppose this be a spring the mass let's ma let the mass m oscillate between these two these two positions this middle line let represent that as mean position x equal to a and this point x is equal to capital a plus a or let's say plus a this point x is equal to minus a because the negative extreme and this one is the positive extreme so the spring is oscillating between these two these two positions about the mean position here let's take at extreme position at extreme position extreme position means x is equal to a or x is equal to minus a these two are the extreme positions we have kinetic energy kinetic energy is equal to half m if you take a square half m omega square a square minus x is a so a square minus a square so that's equal to zero if you take x equal to minus a also that also is zero so at extreme positions kinetic energy is zero what about the potential energy potential energy is half m omega square x square if you take minus a or plus a anyway the square is positive so half m omega square a square which means that at extreme position at extreme position we have kinetic energy is zero but the potential energy maximum clear now let's take the mean position also then we can show the graph at mean position at mean position we have x is equal to zero if you put x here then kinetic energy will be half m omega square see a square minus zero square so that's a square what about potential energy potential energy is equal to if you put x equal to zero then this whole term becomes zero so the potential energy is zero which means if you if you draw a graph let's draw a graph suppose let's take the x-axis as the position of the oscillation of these masses let this position x equal to 0 at this point x is equal to a and at this point x is equal to minus a here x equal to 0 let this this one half half m omega square a square that's that will be the maximum value energy maximum value of the energy will be half m omega square a square now i'm just representing this green line with the green line for kinetic energy now we have already found that at extreme position kinetic energy is zero so at here and here the kinetic energy is zero let's represent this green as kinetic energy and at mean position at mean position kinetic energy is maximum so the graph will be like this clear
Now let's take red for potential energy. Let's represent this red line for potential energy. Now at extreme positions, we have the potential energy is maximum, which means at x is equal to a and x is equal, x is equal to minus a and x is equal to a, kinetic potential energy is maximum. But at main position, it is zero. So the graph will be like this. Clear. This red one is the potential energy and the green one is the kinetic energy. Remember that let's represent this blue line for total energy. Total energy always remains constant. This blue line for total energy. Clear. And total energy will be kinetic energy plus potential energy. Clear. 